Hello again, I'm Rodney Reynolds and welcome to another video review. Today I'm looking at the HIS HD 4670 IceQ and iSilence 4 HDMI video cards. What's included with all of these video cards is an installation guide, case badge, as well as a disc with software and drivers. These two video cards, the HIS HD 4670 IceQ and the iSilence, have a PCI Express interface of 2 compared to the older video cards which had a PCI Express interface of 1. Now this one is the older AGP interface which is great for anyone with an older motherboard. Each one of these video cards is based on the RV730 core which is built on the 55 nanometer manufacturing process and has 514 million transistors. Now let's have a closer look at the coolers. These video cards have different coolers, the IceQ and the iSilence. The IceQ cooler has a base plate that comes in direct contact with the GPU but not the memory and the fan blows cool air over the many aluminum fins porting all the hot air outside the case keeping the GPU cool. The iSilence cooler which is actually a Zalman VNF100 VGA cooler doesn't include a fan but has three copper nickel plated heat pipes that goes from a solid aluminum base plate to many fins which are on the back of the card. Now note that this cooler doesn't come in contact with the memory either. Also note that this video card is really intended for quiet computer builds like for example a home theater PC. All of these video cards have one HDMI connection which by the way has full 7.1 channel audio capabilities, a VGA connection as well as a DVI connection. Only the AGP version requires a 4 pin Mullux power cable connection. Power consumption for each video card is very low at 60 watts. Now this doesn't mean that you don't need to have a quality power supply, it just means that you don't need to have a high wattage power supply. Both of the PCI Express video card products have a core speed of 750 MHz and the 1 GB of GDDR3 128-bit memory is 1700 MHz. Now the AGP product is the same but with a slightly faster memory speed of 1746 MHz. Each one of these video cards has 320 stream processing units for vertex pixel and geometry data, 32 texture units and 8 raster operations. The fill rate is 6 gigapixels per second, the texture fill rate is 24 gigapixels per second and the memory bandwidth is around 27 gigabytes per second. This video card has too many technologies to mention in detail in this video but let me cover the main ones. Custom filter anti-aliasing. Unified Super Scalar Shader Architecture Tessellation High Definition Multimedia Interface Output Support and DirectX 10 which is exclusive to Windows Vista Operating System. DirectX 10 is the key technology that stands out because it offers much better graphics than DirectX 9. In this video you can clearly see the difference between DirectX 9 and DirectX 10. DirectX 10 offers dynamic lighting, added detail, realistic shadows, richer scenes, complex environments and so on. This is possible because it manages data transfers between the CPU and video card much better. This results in optimal use of the CPU and video card for special tasks like graphic effects, AI and physics, resulting in the best performance possible and offers an unreal gaming experience. Additionally, another new exciting technology that's impressive is Avivo HD Video and Display Platform, which essentially enables superior quality and a high definition visual experience.
There's no doubt about it. These video cards do not fall into the high performance category, but rather the budget category. So if you're in the market for a budget video card that has native HDMI support and can play any of the current games, you might want to check out one of these products. The iSilence 4 product is excellent for a home theater PC build, but overall, these products are great. Until next time, take care.